Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music. Yesterday we were talking about hemiolas, three against two rhythms. Of course, it's a type of polyrhythm, and it also has something to do with what I call interference of periodicity, a big word for talking about how things interact when they're different lengths. Let's look at it today. <music> When you're talking about rhythms and polyrhythms, probably the single most important word that I want you to keep in your mind is subdivision. Subdivision, hearing a beat and dividing it into bits and pieces. Well, the obvious division is two, and I would count it like this. One and two and one and two and the ands are dividing the beat but it's also possible to divide the beat like this. One and a two and a one and a two and a. I've divided the beat into three equal parts. Is it possible to divide the beat into both three equal parts and two equal parts? Sure, three equal parts. Here we go. Do you hear that? And then two equal parts. What does that look like if we're recording? Here's the three. Here's the two. Now, if I expand that a little bit and we take a look at it, it's easy to see that some things happen at the same time, right on the downbeat, say. And then there's a bunch of like, I guess I would just describe them as offset notes. They're not happening together, and yet we have a regular repeated pattern. That pattern, in this case, repeats every two beats. It's not very interesting, although harmonically it's kind of rich. I was just doing that with two hands. Three notes in this hand, two notes in this one. Now, what if I take that same idea that I just did with my right hand, two notes, dividing it equally, and switched it to um, three notes, so one and two and one and two and but I'm gonna make three different notes. One and two and one and two and. Looks like this. One and two and one and two and. Well, as it happens, it crosses the bar line. And I can do that. This is called interference of periodicity. And I can do the same pattern in the left hand and I'll get a much more interesting effect. I've taken the division of the beat, two, and added another note to the melodic phrase to create a longer pattern. I can do that all afternoon, can't I? Here's my left hand. Used to be in three, right? Like so. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's give it a four note pattern, but still keep the subdivision of three. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. You can see it crosses the bar line in interesting ways. Here it's more or less on the downbeat, and there it's finally back on the downbeat again. Well, can I do it? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, while I do three notes in two in the other hand.
definitely a repeating pattern. And yet, because of the use of subdivision and interference of periodicity, I'm getting a longer melodic phrase. If I gave it to, say, percussion tones, I would get a longer rhythm as well. Now, it's a little procedural doing this. That is to say, it just feels a little bit like I put my head like to work and make it happen. But when you get right down to it, what I'm really doing is drumming. I'm in B flat. Let's change to C. So let's say you want to practice this yourself, performing it and maybe doing it on guitar, like your thumb doing one, two, three, you know, um, your thumb doing like a, a division of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, or one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, while the right hand just goes one, two, three, like so. It can be a really interesting effect. So just try it with your left hand, go one, two, three, one, two, three, it looks like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And the right hand maybe gets three notes. One, two, three, 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 one. Two. And as you can see, it, 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 the two patterns interfere with each other in a really subtle way. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm gonna do four notes in the right hand. Here we go. The right hand's doing a two division of the beat, the left hand's doing a three division of the beat, but two notes. And it's a it's a great sounding picking pattern, isn't it? So in general, we would call this an instrumental form of harmony, right? We've been talking about instrumental form quite a bit the past couple of months. It's a combination of hemiola, uh, interference of periodicity to create a sort of a percolating propulsive pattern. Change the chords, change the pattern, right? Change the notes in the pattern, you're changing the chord. Well, interesting. I hope this has been useful. Like and subscribe. Ding the bell. You'll be notified when I record my next video. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.